Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Sunday evening, November 10th, 2019, about 6.45 p.m. my time here. And I uh, tell you what, getting used to this dark uh, early is not uh, working out for me. Gets dark pretty much about 5 o'clock here on the West Coast, and uh, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of used to like it when I was younger, but now that I'm a little bit older, just uh, makes for a super long night, let me tell you. Anyway, getting to the earthquake update uh, that I promised a little bit earlier. Um, had some technical issues with some seismograph stations coming in there, so I was working on a couple updates and whatnot. And still not 100% how I want it, uh, but uh, I'll get to it. Anyway, most recent earthquake right now, 4.3 down in the South America region, showing up here on the Earthquake 3D globe in the green flag. Looks like they've been uh, pretty busy down there in South America recently with a couple fives north of there as well um, earlier today. Taking a look at North America region there. Activity along the west coast uh, continues. I'll get to that here in just a little bit uh, when I switch over to that map. Some a little bit stronger earthquake activity off the coast of Japan there with a 5.2 and a 4.4 uh, within that region. 5.0 over here towards the northeast about ready to drop off the globe. Um, so definitely some activity occurring over the past 24 hours or so along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Relatively calm conditions, though. Um, following that deep 6.5 earthquake in Fiji we had a couple days ago. Um, like I said, it's just kind of dropping off right now as far as activity goes. So um, at least in the western part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. Um, a little bit further inland and towards South America region there, we're seeing like an uptick, as I mentioned there in the Chile area. Uh, and South America, South America region, also off the coast, uh, down there at the tip of South America, we're seeing some interesting activity take place there in the 5 range and also the upper 4 range as well. So looks as though activity and uh, pressure has migrated on a whole scale. Uh, towards this region at the moment so uh, we'll keep an eye on that area as uh, the days progress here taking a look at the most recent earthquake uh, activity in southern california this is from the usgs one day magnitude one day all magnitudes i keep skipping the all every single time let me tell you um 171 earthquakes out here uh, just over the last uh, 24 hours here in Southern California, um, we were looking at some activity taking place near the Ventura, California region. That has since dwindled down a little bit. Looks like the most recent activity over there in that region uh, appears to be a small quake there north of Oxnard near Ventura. 2.4 earthquake and a couple ones in there as well. Um, so we're not seeing uh, any type of increased movement in that area. Uh, today anyway so we're still keeping an eye on it it's still active uh, as you can see the 2.4 was the last earthquake that they had in that region in the Ventura region um, and of course that's kind of taken place a little bit more northward than the other activity was so uh, it looks like there's an unnamed fault near Wadstorm um, so yeah a little bit of migration towards the north we'll have to keep a further eye on this activity see if it uh, progresses a little bit further northward as it's done, looks like it may have moved uh, a couple miles or so uh, north of where all the other activity was taking place here uh, a day or so ago, a couple days ago. On the Ventura Fault, the Pitas Point Fault, uh, which is one in the same. Um, let's see, moving over towards the Ridgecrest area. Um, actually let's take a look at the san andreas fault system here real quick as we're seeing a little bit of activity occur down here towards the south southern part of the san andreas fault system this is the area uh, that is apparently locked and loaded and ready to blow according to the uh, you know the all the famous scientists and whatnot uh, according like when the big one happens this is going to be the section that uh, unzips a lot of terror uh, in the region a little bit of activity down here near the Salton Sea region at the very end of the uh, Brawley Fault Zone here, which is just an extension of the San Andreas Fault System there. Um, not much, but uh, we do see swarms in that area. Uh, this is not a swarm occurring down there, but it's something to pay attention to as we have seen past swarms uh, or past activity leading to swarms in that region. 
Uh, following up further on this dark red line, a little bit of cluster of activity out here. Uh, can't really tell exactly where this is. This is kind of a, a pretty good cluster here near Cabanza, looks like, northwest of the Palm Springs, California area. Not really on any type of specific fault system here. Looks like maybe the San Gor Gorgonio fault system, I guess. If I'm pronouncing that right. I'm just not big on these Latin type of, uh, of, uh, of faults here. But uh, even then, it's kind of south of that region. Still within the vicinity of the San Andreas fault system, this dark red line up here. Roughly about maybe three miles from this activity. Um, so still a lot of activity occurring in and around the San Andreas Fault System down south there on the locked section. Um, heading up northeast towards the Ridgecrest area. You can see this showing up rather nicely once again. This is just, once again, one day. All magnitudes. Uh, looks like about 83 earthquakes taking place over the last day. And that's expected um, following the big earthquakes back in, uh, of course, July. July 4th and July 5th, a couple big earthquakes down there. So aftershock activity is expected to continue for quite some time now. We're looking at quite a, quite a few months back now. And uh, that activity has not died down too much. Most recent earthquake of 1.1 in the red circle there. Uh, activity still appears to be working its way down southward towards the uh, garlic fault zone. I am in the process of adding the seismograph station from the garlic fault zone onto the data stations there that I have on the live stream. Um, as soon as I can get it working that is, just having some technical issues going on with it today uh, after the update. But I will get it back and uh, running. And um, so yeah, just still a lot of activity occurring out there in the Ridgecrest region of Southern California. Working its way up north here, right smack dab on the creeping section of the uh, San Andreas Fault section uh, plate boundary here. Got the creeping section, a uh, little 1.4. Nothing big, folks, on that on that plate boundary there, but still a little bit bit of activity uh, popping off there. Uh, let's take a gander up north here. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all, folks, here uh, along the rest rest of the uh, western part of the United States. I guess Yellowstone had a little bit of activity there a couple days ago. Uh, kind of popping up there along the uh, Intermountain West region of Montana and Idaho and Wyoming. But uh, nothing big, nothing major to report out there. So, anyway, I uh, just want to do a quick update because I did promise that uh, in an earlier announcement here. So, we'll continue with... Uh, the earthquake live 3d stream along with numerous data stations there pulled up and a live view of the Santa Monica uh, boardwalk out there I guess that's what it's called and beach cam pretty cool to see at night I'm not for sure if uh, too many people are out there this late at night and then kind of like cooler temperatures down there as well but no rain in sight folks it's a repeat record and it's getting very old and it's getting very dry i'm not too happy with the dry conditions out here so uh, 82 degrees again today here in california not happy one bit some people might be uh they might be happy with that but that i'm not one of them so anyway folks stay safe out there it looks like another five well let's see let's refresh that here yeah 4.3 there we go forgot to change back the recent quake there to the chilly one but uh, other than that folks that's about it for tonight uh, stay safe and uh, hopefully everyone out there has or had a good weekend tomorrow Monday workday for most of us out there and uh, have a good one peace out stay safe